in this video i'm going to help you to understand how to calculate missing frequency in mean in continuous series in continuous series we have three different methods you can follow three different methods direct method shortcut method and step deviation method unless or until the question demands you you can follow any method you can choose either direct shortcut and step deviation method if question demands you to follow certain method then you have to follow that method only otherwise you are your own boss you can use any method out of these three methods okay but i generally prefer to use a step deviation method to calculate mean in continuous series okay missing frequency and you can expect this kind of question in your exam so basically it's an important one i have already explained you how to calculate mean in mean in continuous series in different method if you haven't checked that video i will link it below in the description box for your reference First, do check that video, then start solve this problem. Okay. Let's see the question. From the following distribution, find the missing frequency where mean is 16.82. So mean is given here and marks and frequency. So in solution, I have written as it is marks and frequency. Okay. So I told you I'm going to use a step deviation method formula step deviation method formula as mean equal to a plus summation fd complement by n into c so what the formula demands according to that we are going to find out okay so we need a we need n we need c we need summation fd complement so the first step is to calculate median okay we are calculating mid values sorry not median mid values so to calculate mid values lower plus upper boundaries divided by 2 lower boundary plus upper boundary divided by 2 0 plus 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 5 plus 10 divided by 2 is 7.5 likewise write it down for rest okay so the next one is now we have d value so if now we have m value we need to calculate d value d equal to to calculate d we need m minus a okay we have m values we need a so a you can choose any one out of this or you can choose any number but for the uh, easy process i always take a smaller number in median Okay, this is the smallest one so I'm going to consider this as assume mean okay so a is 2.5 m is 2.5 a is 2.5 2.5 minus 2.5 is 0 then 7.5 minus 2.5 5 12.5 minus 2.5 10 likewise calculate the rest see it's an easy one right Now we know D, we need a D complement. See, our formula demand us to calculate a D complement. Right, so we are calculating a D complement. D complement is D divided by C. D values and C is the difference between the class interval 0 to 5. The difference is 5. Okay, so 0 divided by 5 is 0 5 divided by 5 1 
10 divided by 5 is 2. Likewise to the rest one. Now F into D complement. F is this frequencies. Frequencies into D complement. 10 into 0, 0, 12, 1, 12, 16, 2, 32. Now we don't have frequency here, so we are keeping as S. Sorry, we are keeping as F. F into 3, 3F. Three 14 into 4, 56. 10 into 5, 58 into 6, 48. Okay, so add all this. Summation FD complement equal to 0 plus 12 plus 32 plus 56 plus 50 plus 48 198 plus 3f okay and our n is this frequency add this one 10 12 16 14 10 8 is 70 70 plus f now substitute in the formula mean is mean is 16 16.82 here 16.82 so we are going to write mean as 16.82 equal to a is 2.5 assume mean here assume mean here assume 2.5 assume mean plus summation FD complement 198 plus 3F by N is 70 plus F into C is the difference of next class interval is 5. Now send this 2.5 to this side 16.82 minus 2.5 equal to 198 plus 3f by 70 plus f into 5. Subtract these two you have 14.32 14 point, 14 equal to 198 plus 3f plus F into 5. Now cross multiplication. So 14.32 into 70 plus F equal to 198 plus 3F into 5. Bracket means multiplication. Okay. Now multiply this one, this to this, and then this to this. Multiply these. You have 1002.4 plus 14.32f equal to 198 into 5, 990. Plus 3 by the 15 f. Now variable one side and numbers one side. 15 f minus 14 point f equal to 1002.4 minus 990. Okay. Now 15 minus 14.32 is 12.2. 0 0.68 f equal to minus 1000 1002.4 minus 990 is 12.4 so f equal to 12.4 0 0.68 f equal to 18.2 or you can consider it so our missing frequency is 18.
hope you have understood how to calculate nesting frequency in mean in continuous series using a step deviation method. Hope you like the video. Enjoy learning.